I have just the background layer active in this document. You'll notice that in the upper portion of layers panel, we have a group of locking options that will allow you to protect certain aspects of any given layer. With regards to the background layer, it's fairly straightforward. The majority of it is locked. The only thing that you can do with a background layer is pick up a painting tool and change the appearance of pixels. But for everything else, such as transparent areas in that layer or moving it or working in conjunction with something called artboards, you can't facilitate those options. They're locked by default. If you wish to protect your layer from any kind of editing, you could click on the padlock symbol. And in that way, you wouldn't be able to do anything with a given layer except turn on or turn off the visibility in the layer stack. If I click on the top layer, which contains the logo, it's a placed piece of artwork. By default, it's protected in something called a smart object layer. Now with smart objects, you can't paint over the transparency or any pixel content based in those layers. But if I wish to prevent it from being moved, I could certainly click on lock position. Now that might seem like a, a thing that's easily avoided. However, if I click on the visibility icon for that logo layer, if I've got my move tool active from the top of the tools panel, if I click and drag now, I can't see the artwork, but it doesn't mean that it hasn't a potential to be moved. So it may well be that if I just go back a step and choose undo visibility and then choose edit undo move, if I turn the visibility for that layer and then choose to lock its position, whether it's visible or whether it's hidden, now I'm not permitted to click and drag and move that. And in fact, Photoshop will alert me to that fact and I'll click OK. So locking options can be particularly useful, whether it's you preventing yourself from doing something or if you're passing a file onto a colleague and you don't want that element to be edited in the document. If you have to edit a file that you're not familiar with, you can identify locked layers by the padlock symbol on the right hand side. If you wish to discover which elements are locked in that layer, you'll have to left click on it in the layers panel and the buttons across the top will indicate the aspects that are protected.